this is a hard lesson. And several times I wanted to throw it in the garbage. I was hampered once. Well, Leviticus 18, we're going to look at why God drove the Canaanites out of the land. And this would be part of the problem on why God drove Israel and Judah out. This is why Sodom and Gomorrah, of their many sins, And America needs to pay attention because America is involved in many sins, including the sin we're going to look at today. And it's a quiet sin. It's not open. The Lord spanked to Moses, saying, Now this is to Israel, this is the law. Speak unto the children of Israel, these are God's people. Christians are God's people, we ought to pay attention. This is something that, okay, you can find in the Pauline epistles. You can say that this is wrong for the saved and for the lost. This is just totally gross. And we find it in the Pauline epistles. This is something that the Gentiles do. And it's going on today. It's going on in America. So I know it's speaking to Israel doctrinally. But spiritually we can also apply it. Because if God doesn't judge this nation. For her sins. And the sins we're going to look right at today. He's going to have to take every nation of Cana. I think there was ten. I forget. The Hittites, the Canaanites, the Perizzites, Jebusites. He's going to have to apologize to them. And God ain't apologizing to sinners. He judges them. As far as America, you better pay attention. You better be forewarned. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, I am the Lord your God. Now we supposed to be, we're a Christian nation, one nation under God. In the, you know, okay. You don't know which God you have in America, but after the doings of the land of Egypt, type of the world, where you dwell, you shall not do. Do not do the Egyptian thing. There are Egyptian things all over the world today. There are Egyptian customs and rites in the Baptist churches. After the doings of the land of Canaan, there we go. Whether I bring you, you shall not do. All the world is doing the things that's going on in the land of Cana. They have false gods. They have false worship. They're killing their babies. They're sacrificing and eating blood. All the abominations. You shall not do, neither shall you walk in their ordinances, their laws, and their ways. He shall do my judgments, keep my ordinances, to walk in them. I am the Lord your God. Now we have judgments. We have ordinances as, as Christians. At, at the Council of Jerusalem, they came up with three ordinances. Thou shalt not eat anything strangled or with blood. Flee fornication. And there was something else, I forget what it is. You should therefore keep my statutes, my judgments. Which if a man do, he shall live in them. I am the Lord. Okay. Here we go. None of you shall approach to any that is near kin to him. Family. To uncover their nakedness. I am the Lord. Now we're going to go through a list here. I was told somebody made fun of this. When we were studying it. He's in jail. And he's got to register himself as a sex offender. Don't mess with God. None of you shall approach any that can. Family. Okay, verse 7. The nakedness of thy father. 
that would be a daughter or a son today, the nakedness of thy mother. Thou shalt not uncover. She is thy mother. Thou shalt not uncover naked. Don't make her naked. Don't have anything sexually to do with her. How about Genesis 19, Lot's daughters? They both uncovered the nakedness of Lot and laid down with him and had sex with him and produced Moab and Ammon. You see, what we're going to look at is in the Bible. Gentiles are doing it. The Hebrews, the Israelites, were doing it. India, China, Japan, United Kingdom, Africa, and America. There are people today that are sleeping with their father or sleeping with their mother. There are people who write the, uh, these, these vice columns. Dear Miss Miss, dear Mr. Mr. Uh, my name is blank. Make a name up. And they write about, I have had sex with my stepson. Dear so-and-so, me and my stepdad, we're having sex. Should I tell mom, you know? This is going on in the world. This is going on in America. Guys, that don't do it. The nakedness of thy father's wife. Thou shalt not uncover it. That's, that's a stepmother. And your mother. It is thy father's nakedness. How about Reuben in Genesis 35, 22? Reuben slept with one of his father's maidservants, the, the nurse of uh, Leah. I think it's Leah. How about 1 Corinthians 5? The man that's in the Corinthian church is having sexual relations with his father's wife, and Paul names it right out. Paul said to, to turn that man over to Satan for the destruction of the flesh that he lose not reward 1 Corinthians 5 New Testament church age in the church there was a man sleeping with his father's wife there are boys sleeping with their stepmoms there are girls sleeping with their stepfathers the nakedness of thy sister the daughter of thy father or the daughter of thy mother. So don't say she stepped the, she's my stepsister. No. No excuse. Neither she that's born at home or born abroad. She's born here or born there. Even their nakedness shall, shall not uncover. Now remember, now remember, Abram and Sarah were brothers and sisters. They just didn't have the same mother. And you may say, well, Adam and Eve and all their children incense. Yes, you had to to make the population. Now God forbids it. Say all you want about Cain and Seth and, and sleeping with their with their sisters and their brothers. Okay, that's okay. No more. We're done with that. You're not even to cover their nakedness. A, a, a brother and sister. Ooh, let me see what you. Can I touch it? I watched the movie, and you know the grandparents are coming to stay, and they put the, the the daughter and the son in the same bed. No. By the way, this incense—if I hadn't called it what it is—it's incense. It could be adultery, and it's fornication. It's a sin. It's in your movie. It's promoted in your movie, and your television, and your book. When I was lost, I used to read pornographic books, you know, stories about pornography, and there was one of those stories about a boy and a girl, sister, brother and sister, and I won't tell you the details. Sickening. God forgive you for reading that crap. The nakedness of thy son's daughter, your daughter-in-law. The nakedness of, the, of thy daughter's daughter, daughter-in-law. Even their nakedness thou shalt not uncover, for theirs is thine own nakedness. I know a family 
where the aunt got pregnant by the uncle. The wrong uncle. The nakedness of thy son's daughter. The nakedness of thy daughter's daughter. Okay, verse 11. The nakedness of thy father's wife daughter, stepdaughter, begotten of thy father, she is thy sister. Thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. Well, sure, if you don't uncover her nakedness, you won't have any further details. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 6, is it? The marriage? Talk about marriage? I think it's 1 Corinthians 6. You're not even to touch her. You're not even to touch her. That's the one you're dating. So if you don't uncover your nakedness, you're not going any further. You're not to tease your siblings. I, I, I read doing this report, I've seen all kinds of filthy things. I, I've seen, you know, with this deer, so and so. And the father said, my daughter walks around in her undies. Tell your daughter, put some clothes on. Because then how are you going to tell your daughter to walk around? She walks around in her undies at the beach, just called a bikini and, and, a, and a bikini bottom, whatever they call that. It's, it's a bra and panties. That's all it is. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy father's sister. She's your aunt. She's your family's near kinsman. So no fathers, no mothers, no brothers, no sisters, no step, and no aunts and uncles. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy mother's sister, for she's thy mother's near kinsman. Aunt on both sides. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy father's brother, there's your uncle. Thou shalt not approach to his wife. She's thy aunt. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy daughter-in-law. She's thy son's wife. Thou shalt not uncover... Listen, we're getting to the point in chapter 18. If it's not your wife, don't look at anything on their body you're not supposed to see. Don't you unclothe yourself or dress yourself so inappropriate that others will see you. And don't dilly dally and play and pet. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy brother's wife. It is thy brother's nakedness. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of a woman and her daughter. So you, you take a woman and then you take her daughter. You're not married. Neither shall thou take her son's daughter. Or her daughter's daughter. That'd be her grandchildren. To uncover their nakedness. For they are near kinswoman. It is wickedness. It is wickedness to sleep with a woman and her daughter. It's wickedness to sleep with a woman and her granddaughter. That's your threesome. Neither shall thou take a wife to her sister to vex her, to uncover her nakedness beside the other in her lifetime. I, I read, I don't understand that. I mean, if you have a wife and you marry her sister out of spite, but we just read previously, you're not to marry her sister. But if that's the case, you sort of got the case with Jacob and Leah and Rachel, though Leah was not given by want. She was, she was forced upon Jacob. And you saw the dilemma of these two women fighting back and forth. Also, thou shalt not approach unto a woman to uncover her nakedness as long as she's put apart from her unclean. So if she's unclean for whatever reason, even if she's your wife, 
if she has her monthly cycle, I know a missionary was over the island nations. Over there, they have separate huts for women for their time of month. As long as she's in her blood from, from giving birth to a child, she was unclean for a certain amount of days. There were things in the law that you were unclean to after 6 p.m. But this is pretty much talking about her monthly cycle or giving birth to a child. Moreover, thou shalt not lie carnally with thy neighbor's wife, adultery, to defile thyself with her. Jesus said, not to even look upon a woman to lust after her in your heart. Thou hast committed adultery with her. Thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire of Molech. Neither shalt thou profane the name of thy Lord thy God. I am the Lord. So what were they doing? Babies that were born. They were, they were putting into the, this iron statue with arms that through pulleys and levers, those arms would toss that baby into the open belly of this statue where there was fire. And they'd be beating the drum so you wouldn't hear the baby screaming as they burn. This is post-abortion. America is in abortion. Murdering babies in the belly of the womb. And then you have cases where, where children are killed by their parents. For the stupidest reason, he wouldn't stop crying. One time I heard Lionel, you know, a guy was playing video games and the kid was upset, and so he killed the kid. America. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It's abomination. That's your sodomites. That's your gay people. That's your lesbians. That's we're we're gay, we're proud and all that. God says it's an abomination. America and all the world, including Jerusalem, are open, welcome arms to pride. If God don't judge America, he's going to have to apologize to Sodom. Neither thou shalt lie with any beast that defile thyself with, therewith. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast and lie down there too. It is confusion. It is a common fact, especially among gay and lesbian people. And bars and wild parties. That a woman is brought forth with an animal. To have sex in America. Okay? These are the sins that God said, Cana, get out. Defile not ye the, yourselves with any of these things that we just read. For all these the nations, plural, are defiled, which I cast out before you. So if the Canaanites, the Hittites, the, the Gergesites, the Hivites, if they were defiled and abominable for the sins we just mentioned, what are you going to say about America that does the same sin? You're going to be cast out. Stop saying God bless America. He's not going to. What blessing America gets and going to get is by the, those who love him, those who do right, those who pray to God. God makes it to rain on the just and the unjust. The unjust are blessed because God's blessing the just. The land is defiled. America's defiled. Therefore do therefore I do visit the iniquity thereof upon it. And the land itself vomit out inhabitants. We do the same thing. One day Americans are going to be vomited out of her land. God speaks about the lukewarm Christian. I'll spew thee out of my mouth. 
If God's going to spew the lukewarm Christians, his people, what do you think he's going to do to the heathen? Ye shall therefore keep my statutes, my judgments, Jews, Israel. Thou shalt not commit any abominations, America does, neither any your own nation, Israel, nor any stranger that sojourns among you. For all these abominations have the men of the land done, which are before you. And the land is defiled. The land spew not you out also, when ye defile it, as spew out the nations that were before you. All these sexual sins, God says, it's an abomination. Get out of the land. Israel, if you do it, get out of the land. Strangers, if you do it, get out of the land. America does it, get out of the land. UK does it, get out of the land. Therefore ye shall keep my orders that ye commit not any one of these abominable customs which ye commit before you, and they defile not themselves therein. I am the Lord your God. Are you a Christian? Do you profess to be a Christian nation? In America, there'll be people going to bed tonight, and they'll be sleeping with their mother, or they'll be sleeping with their father. There'll be two men sleeping. There'll be two women sleeping. A woman or a man may lay down with, a, with an animal. A boy, a, a brother and a sister may be... Chapter 20. Leviticus 20. Verse 10. The man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall be put to death. Both. We don't put adultery to death in America. We put them on a talk show. All the adultery is going on in America today. The Bible says, you know, we are the Bible Belt, we are the Christian nation. We're not, but that's what they say. Capital punishment for adultery. The man that lies with his father's wife has uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall be surely put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Well, I read many dear who who I was. I've been sleeping with, with my with my husband's son. You turn him over to government, Romans thirteen, and they're to exercise the sword, capital punishment. No, they'll put him on the talk show. They'll put him on the news segment and give him time. If a man lie with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have wrought confusion. You sleep with your son's wife. Their blood shall be upon them. Yeah. Throughout the world, tonight, there's going to be a man who's going to lay with his daughter-in-law. Or a woman's going to lay with her son-in-law. God says execute him. Today, give them the gospel, but Paul said, if I committed a crime worthy of death, I refuse not to die. Okay? 13. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lies with womankind, man and man, both of them have committed abomination. They shall surely be put to death, their blood shall be upon them. You got two sodomites, you got two gays, you got two lesbians, you're going to put them to death. Not let them march in the streets. Not give them, you know, jobs and give them marriage license and all that. Florida, Florida, you need to learn. America, God's going to come to Florida. You, you got the pride uh, football team I seen on the screen the other day at the laundromat. No, 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 no pride. No, abomination. You preach to them the gospel of Jesus Christ, and then you give them the capital punishment. It's an abomination. Governor of Florida, President of the United States. 
Queen Elizabeth. It's all abomination. It's what the Word of God says. And you better get a King James Bible. I'm reading to you the King James Bible, and you can see it up on the screen. If a man takes a wife and her mother, it's wickedness. They shall be burnt with fire, both he and they. There be no wickedness among you. I've seen that play out in the movies. If a man lie with a beast, well, we heard about a woman. If a man lie with a beast, how about the beauty and the beast? Can you name any other fairy tales and goodly little stories for the kiddies about a human and a beast that God says is an abomination? He shall surely be put to death and he shall slay the beast. The LB or whatever, the sodomites, glory, one of their glories of their kind with animals. Well, they don't put that on the screen, do they? That, that would make you crinkle. That would make you, oh, that's disgusting. If a woman approached on any beast and lied there too, thou shalt kill the woman and the beast. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Well, you know, we're under grace. We're in the churches. Paul says, Romans 13, the government has the power of the sword to execute. This shows us what God thinks of sin. I don't think a church should do it. I think the government should do it. I don't think a Christian should do it. I think the government. If a man shall take his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter, and see her nakedness, and she see his nakedness, You got any brothers and sisters out there? It's a wicked thing. They shall be cut off in the sight of their people. You ought to bring them out before Israel. Say, these two brothers and sisters, he has uncovered his sisters naked as they shall bear his iniquity. Now, they're not put to death. They're made a shame. In America, they would put them on the TV show. They may give them their own TV show. They may make a sitcom. If a man shall lie with a woman having her sickness, shall uncover her with nakedness, he, is he has discovered her fountain, her monthly cycle. She has uncovered the fountain of her blood. Both of them shall, sure, both of them shall be cut off from among their people. Now they're not put to death, they are made ashamed. They had sexual intercourse, husband and wife, while she's had her period, among other names they call it red winging. When you're cut off from Israel, you're going to die and go to hell. There are many things in the law to be cut off from. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy mother's sister, nor thy father's sister. For he has uncovered his near kin, aunt, they shall bear their iniquity. Okay, they're not put to death. But be made ashamed. If a man shall lie with his uncle's wife, he has uncovered his uncle's nakedness. They shall bear their sin. They shall die, die childless. Oh, this is talking to Israel. I, like I said, I know a couple of Gentiles. The wrong uncle and the wrong aunt had, had a child. If a man shall take his brother's wife, it is unclean thing. He has uncovered his brother's nakedness, they shall be childless. Ye therefore keep my statutes, my judgment, and do them. That the land, whether I bring you to dwell there, spew you, 
steal you not out. You shall not walk in the manner of the nation, which I cast out before you. They committed all these things, therefore I abhor them. God bless America. America's doing these sins. God said, uh -huh, uh -huh, no, I hate you. God loves the sinner and hates the sin. No, 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 that ain't going to work. Okay? The most watched nation of pornography, i got to try to read my notes here. Number one, United States of America. And the United States is the number one porn producer. Number two, UK, and they produce porn. Number three, India. Number four, Japan. And number five, Canada. Okay. In New Jersey, you can have legal incense Family members having sex. If it's consensual, if you're 18 years or older, but you cannot marry. So in New Jersey, if you're a brother and a sister, you're over 18, you can have sex legally, but you can't marry each other. In the Bible, flesh joining flesh is marriage. New Jersey. A woman can have sex with her husband's son, as long as he's over 18, she's over 18. Friend, that's adultery. Rhode Island, that was New Jersey. Rhode Island, incense is consensual, but no marriage if you're 16 years or older. So in Rhode Island, if you want to have sex with your aunt, though the Bible says no, if you're over 16 and she's over 16, you can have all the sex you want. You don't have to get married. Though flesh joining flesh in the Bible is marriage. That's where that woman had four husbands. And the one she was with now wasn't her husband. And the laws of the United States describes incense as sexual intercourse. Sexual conduct, I mean, co contact, marriage, co cohabitation, sexual penetration. And also, some states, sexual penetration doesn't mean there has to be semen. You can do what old men did, spill it. So you can't escape the Bible. You can't. So, in an order that has been found of incense, incense, in, I don't mean the things you burn. First, the most, is dad and a daughter. Followed by a stepdad and a daughter or a stepdaughter. Follow up is a mother and her stepson. Followed up behind that was a daughter and her son. Now, I don't understand that one. I don't want to understand. 20 million Americans, they say, is a parental parent incense. Inc I can't say the word now. I don't mean things you burn, but it's smelling good. Incense. 20 million Americans. Children are involved with parental sex. That doesn't mean the children who want the sex from their parents. Can I read my notes again? 
in the United States and Canada. 20% of the girls and 8% of the boys have been sexually abused from incest. Oh, that Bible, that's an old, that's way back then, that's before Christ, BCE, that doesn't happen today. Friend, they do it in the movies. I did an internet search, I'm going to show you, with that IMBD. How many movies are involved with incest? I couldn't believe the list. I thought I was going to have to write down one or two movies. We don't even have the time to mention all the movies. There have been incest, incest, excuse me, in the presidents of the United States. Well-known American figures in history, incest. It's not incest, but there's been Americans who have had sexual relations with their slaves, north and south. Okay, in the United States of America, 60% of the rapes happen in the home. They're at home, in general. They're not out the park, they're not at the subway. 37% rapes in America are parental. The parents. 37% of the parents of rape out there are raping their children. 23% of the rapes in America are the step-parent doing it. Incest. And the Bible says you're to put them to death. Now, in the case of rape, we don't have time to look at it. If that rape is involuntary, by the one being raped, you don't you don't do anything to them. You you do to the raper. That's the word. Now, when you got sex between family members, it's called inbred. Inbred marriage, intermarriage. The most inbred state in America, and this will be current in the news today, with all the flooding, is Kentucky. Kentucky is known for the most states for incest. They say inbred, incest. How about abomination? How about adultery? How about fornication? How about that? How about what God says? Look at Romans 13. We'll go there. We've got a couple more places to go. we got time. Romans 13. You think I'm full of it. Romans 13. We'll read all this. Let every soul be subject unto higher powers. President, mayor, governor, boss, mom, dad. For there is no power but of God. The powers that are be are ordained of God. President Biden is in office because of God. Whoso therefore resists the power, resists the ordinance of God. You're not rebelling against the president, rebelling against God. They that resist shall receive themselves damnation. Oh, you, you Republican Christians. You're in shock. For rules are not a terror to good works. I don't have to worry about the laws. I'm obeying the laws to the best of my ability. But to the evil wilt thou not be afraid of the power. To those lawbreakers, they are afraid of the police. If the cops drove up right now in front of my house, and they started walking up my driveway, I don't think there's nothing wrong. I mean, there may be one thing that somebody called the cops on me, but I've already checked it out. I, I'm legal. Do that which is good. So don't do what we did in Leviticus 18 and 20. 
thou shalt have praise of the same. For he, the government, is the minister of God for thee for good. Not today. They're not good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. You're a lawbreaker. For he beareth not the sword in vain. That sword is for capital punishment. He's a minister of God. <laughs> like a pastor, an elder, deacon. A revenger to the execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. So all these adulterers, all these fornicators, all these sodomites, all these incest, you give them the gospel, give them time to repent, but God says, put them to death. Even in the church age. I know your pastor don't believe that. That's okay. Now, one weird thing. And we'll close. First Chronicles. This, this is just a weird thing. Actually, First Chronicles 20. 6 to 18. And yet there was war in Gath. Where it was a man of great stature. Whose fingers and toes were four and twenty. Six on each hand and six on each foot. He also was the son of the giant. But when he defiled Israel, Jonathan, the son of Shimea, David's brother, slew him. These were born to the giant in Gath. That's Goliath. That fell by the hand of David, Goliath, by the hand of his servant. So here is Goliath's Son. Uh, did he give his name? There, uh, verse 5. The war against the Philistine, Elhan, the son of Jared, slew Lahamai, the brother of Goliath, the Gidonite, whose spear staff was like a weaver's beam. So, here is two women. Here is a brother of Goliath, Lahamia. Here's a son of Goliath, and he's not given a name. Okay? Second Samuel. Second Samuel 21. Verse 16. And Ishbinah, which won the sons of the giant. The weight of the spear was 300 shekels of brass and weight. Being girded with a new sword, thought to have slain David. But Abishai, the son of Uriah, succored him, helped David, and smote the Philistine and killed him. Ishbinah. The men of David swear unto him, saying, Thou shalt go no more out with us to battle. That thou quench, thou quench not the light of Israel. All right, this is a son of the dying. It came to pass that there was again a battle in the Philistines at God. Shibbekai, the Hishamite, slew Sap, which was the sons of the giant. So Ishbanebah and Sap are sons of the giant. There was again battle in God for the Philistines, and Elhina, the son of Jerry Orgib, a Bethlehemite, slew the brother. Well, we just read this in First Chronicles of Goliath the Gittite. By the way, you better have the King James Bible. Other Bibles don't have that right. The other Bibles say Goliath was killed twice. Or David didn't kill Goliath. But we'll move on. The staff of whose spear was like a weaver's beam. That's the same guy, First Chronicles 20, verse 6 to 18. The brother. We just saw two sons, we see the brother. There was yet a battle in Gath. There was a man of great stature and had every hand six fingers and on every foot six toes. There he is again. Four and twenty in number and he was born to the giant, son of Goliath. He defiled Israel, and Jonathan the son of Shimei, the brother of David, slew him. 
These four were born to the giant in Gath. Look at verse 19, I got highlighted. The brother of Goliath was born to Goliath. Goliath was having sex with his mother. And his mother got pregnant. Giving birth to his brother and his son. If that's the case in verse 20, which it is, a little odd deformity between a mother and her son and the birth of a child is he has six fingers on each hand and six toes on each foot. When you read about them inbred families in Kentucky, they actually say that they have blue skin. And other physical deformities of incest. Where God said in his law, where Paul forbade a man in the Corinth church, you're not to have incense, incest, excuse me, and you're not even to look at their nakedness. Now how's that? 